men go off the premise, and not just men, a lot of people, but most men, when it comes to this, go off the premise of it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Okay? So they'd rather, you know, do whatever the fuck they want to do, and then when they get caught, so oh, please, baby, I'm sorry, like, you know what I mean? Instead of coming out, you know, in the front and be like, yo, is this cool? You know what I mean? Like, I want to be with you, and I want to be with her. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, but right? you, you gotta, here's my thing, you gotta, like, that only comes from a place where you think you're worthy of that. So you, you, you gotta feel your worth to women. So, like, I, I use the example like this, like, Mayweather, May, May, Mayweather was walking around with five chicks, right? And he was like, it was his, these are my girlfriends. Now, at any given time, one of them could say, yo, I really love you, but I don't want to do this no more. You got to pick me, otherwise I'm out. And then he would have his private jet drop her off in, back at Cleveland. Um, he was like, oh, you know, sorry to see you go, but I, I understand. Because he feels that because of his money, his power, whatever, the fact that they can run around in a, in a mall and shop for $20,000 handbags, there's a, he's saying, I'm worth this. Because I can do this, and, and if you want to be part of me, and he feels he's worthy. Now, that's the extreme situation, but the real situation is just in the context of you being a guy who works for fucking sanitation. And you I go, and you go. feeling that you have the work. Exactly, exactly. So the fear is to cover up the fact that you don't feel like you have the worth. I always say, if a dude is five foot four and he lies about his, his height and says he's five foot six, it's because he don't think that five four is enough. Right. But then he's also worried that not only he don't think that, that the girl or whatever is not going to think it. Well, she and don't, she, they think what you, what you, like, we teach people how to, how to treat us. Do you know what I mean? Right. So if you're in question of you're in question of your own personal value, then you're teaching her that you're in question of your value, whether you whether you're lying about it or not. Security, yeah, yeah. 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 And most, just like he said, most people are scared of loss. Right. That scared of, well, damn! If I tell the truth here, it might backfire on me. I might lose the whole shit. And it will. It, it will in some cases. Right, and you got to be prepared for that. Right, but, but they don't want that. Like right. people want to just, you know, not have that. They're trying to control the odds. I guess you know what I mean. But I, I think the the thing is like guys that I've counseled. I mean, even Harry. I mean, Harry, Harry was, was one of my 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 cases, and <laughs> the, I remember the moment when he decided what his value was, and you could just feel it because the minute somebody even questioned what his value is he was like ah you you're not into it i'm i'm good i me i remember fucking with this chick and she you know we were dating and then she was like uh all of a sudden i couldn't get no blowies i couldn't get no neck right? i couldn't get no blowies and i was like yo so i i, I hit it like yo you you uh you don't like me and she's like yeah i like you i like you a lot i was like well how come my dick's not in your mouth like, like, I don't understand why. And she was like, why you got to be so crude? I said, because I'm not, I don't think you're important enough to, to lie to. It's better, it, I, I think you're important enough to tell the truth. So I, this, is, this is a deal breaker. You feel me? This is a deal breaker. So if you're not fucking with that, I get it. You, you could, I, I respect that. But then we got to we go that way. Like, how about, how about I've taken that a step further? Yeah. Okay. okay. She's getting the blowies, but she don't want to swallow. Oh, that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, well, if it's a deal, right, right. But I'm, that's the crazy wow. thing is that, yeah. <laughs> Why should I have to stand for this? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? What, what are we, savages? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this is <laughs> he, he pulled it out and went, I'm appalled. <laughs> this is <laughs> uncivilized. This is just. Uh uh. No, 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 no. Did you just spit that out? Did you just spit? Did you just <laughs> my gift? <laughs> oh hell no! Like, nah, never. My mind. word, my I word. never. Uh, peace, shaw. <laughs> shit, like, 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 like. <laughs> Problem, like, oh. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. They're like, good day, ma'am. Good <laughs> day. <laughs> Well, I remember, it, you know, speaking of all the things you taught me and knowing your value, there was a situation where I was seeing multiple women and I was upfront about that. And one girl 
was kind of, you know, I don't, I keep it to myself. Once I tell them, I don't want to throw it in there. You don't face. keep rubbing it in there. Like, yeah, all right, right. And she just assumed that it was just me and oh, her yeah. after yeah. that because when you're with me, you're with me and I treat you as such. And then she was just like, wait, what's with these other girls? Just, I saw you on a, a such and such app and you were saying like, what happened to us? I go, listen, I told you that, you know, I, this is what I do. And I go, and she goes, I don't think I want that. I go, then, okay, we don't have to do this. It's fine. I don't ever want you to do anything you're uncomfortable with. We don't have to do this. And then she was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I think I'm happy with what we have. I'm happy. But she immediately changed her bargaining position because she realized that her she life She went was in hot. Yeah. She went in hot. Like she, had a, like she had a straight. She was going for the royal flush. And then she, she was sitting there with a three and a seven. Yeah, well, you, thought you lose your leverage when it's like, okay, then be out. They're thinking them being out, like you'd never do that. Oh, well. No, I can't. Cool with it. It's like, oh, hang on. I used to, I mean, I, I'm married. Is that easy for you? I'm married okay. now. I'm married now, but I, without a doubt, I, dog, I used to keep or get the fuck out of my house in the chamber. Like, <laughs> oh, just, I kept one in the chamber. For, I, I used to throw a bitch out of my house just to make sure I knew how, just to practice. That was your catchphrase. That was your. Uh, <laughs> that was it. You like beans and jelly. <laughs> Young man school 202 better hear what i've got to say because you won't get it again i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man, better man.